The problem statement in question 6 of this exercise says the lengths of two sides of a triangle are 12 cm and 15 cm. Between what two measures should the length of the third side fall? So this is actually a very interesting question based on the property of triangles which says that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than its third side. I will now show you how to apply this property and solve the given question. And to do that, let me first show you a cool simulation that will instantly help you understand the reasoning or logic behind the solution. So here is the simulation which shows a triangle ABC in which AB has a length of 12 cm and AC has a length of 15 cm. These two lengths are fixed. Right now, BC has a length of 15.398 cm. But if I move the vertices of the triangle around, for example, like this, or let's say I move C around like this, we can see that the length of BC changes. Now, let's see the range in which BC can vary or the minimum and maximum values between the length of BC will lie. Okay, so observe the angle that is formed at the vertex A. If I increase that angle like this, we see that BC increases and it will continue to increase till angle A is almost 180 degrees like this. So in this situation, BC is almost equal to 27 centimeters, but it must still be slightly less than 27 centimeters since it must be smaller than the sum of AB and AC, which is 12 plus 15. Now, on the other hand, if I decrease the angle at A like this, we see that BC decreases and it continues to decrease till angle A is almost 0 degrees like this. In this situation, we see that BC is almost equal to 3 cm but it must still be slightly greater than 3 cm otherwise the sum of AB and BC will not be greater than AC. So let's summarize what we have seen. We saw that BC can have infinitely many different values depending on what uh, the angle of inclination between AB and AC. We observed that BC can go up to as high as 27 centimeters but BC has to always stay slightly less than 27 centimeters. We also observed that BC can go down to as low as 3 centimeters, but BC has to always stay slightly more than 3 centimeters. Therefore, we can conclude that BC can take any value between 3 centimeters and 27 centimeters. So, coming back to our question, let's write our answer. So, BC can go up to as high as 12 centimeters plus 15 centimeters but it must always stay less than this sum and BC can go down to as low as the difference of these two lengths so 15 centimeter minus 12 centimeters but BC must always stay greater than this difference. So this means that BC must be greater than 3 centimeters okay and BC must be less than 27 centimeters. So BC must lie between 3 centimeters and 27 centimeters. This is the answer for question number 6. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.